All right, we're on a 34 foot lures 2003 Sportfish convertible a beautiful vessel got lots of nice features. We're starting on the outside here you can see we've got uh, nice big 18 foot outriggers uh, this boat has twin Yanmar diesels and a uh, Kohler generator uh, nice big uh, transom gate there for you to pull a big tuna through got a swim platform in the back uh, the swim platform needs a little bit of fiberglass work but other than that it's in great shape got rod holders all around nice big traditional uh, lures bow uh, and we've got lots of lighting on the inside through these big windows got a hard top on the flybridge up there with uh, aluminum tubed framing all right Let's see if I can get on here without falling in the water all right here we are in the cockpit lots of fishing space we've got some uh, curtains here on the side which obviously go up there up on the fly bridge but they're all there they're uh, kept inside uh, out of the weather so they stay in good shape and uh, I just took them out of the cabin to, to take pictures of the cabin so as we go down into the cockpit area we got a we've got a fish box in the in the transom wall here and then uh, that spot there that hatch is your steering access and then we've got plenty of storage in the gunnels on each side okay we got the uh, gunnel cleats we've got fresh water and raw water okay and then on this side we have the stairs that go up to the to the fly bridge and the first step is a is a cooler keep your cold drinks and stuff in there. Uh, and then over here under the where the curtains are we've got our fish box uh, live well there and then uh, what was under there ah tackle storage okay all right and then the step going into the salon is your engine access so we'll take a look in there briefly so if I can get focused there's those two big Yanmars and the Kohler's all the way in the back I don't know if you can see that shaft seals look good uh, I don't see any signs of leakage a little bit of water in the bills but that's normal we just had some rain here that's probably what that's from Drop this down. I need to give me one of them tennis balls that you squeeze on, I guess. All right, we're gonna slide our salon door open here. Um, before we go in, we got lighting uh, built in back here. Got a nice speaker system, and uh, there's our salon. Really nice. We've got uh, three berths. Alright, starting out down here, we've got our uh, battery panel, two battery switches there, and then just some storage under there, got a little coffee pot there, got our uh, galvanic isolated monitor, and then to the port side is our galley, we got microwave, Got a stove top, a refrigerator, nice stainless steel sink, Corian counters. Uh, and then I'm standing over the engine hatch. If this uh, you peel this carpet back and you've got full access to your engines. Alright. And then we've got a nice padded uh, leather upholstery in here. It's really good condition. It's really nice leather. Uh, over on this side. We have storage underneath the, the berths. And, uh, all right, here's our distribution panel. AC DC distribution panel. We've got uh, cabin lights, courtesy lights, accessories, 
engine, bridge controls, all the bilges, refrigerator, um, generator switch over, everything you need there. All right, so this is a uh, berth and then we're gonna show you what the uh, top bunk berth looks like. All right, and we're back and uh, now you can see what it looks like with uh, the bunk uh, pulled up. Got a uh, rod storage under there. And uh, so you got a berth there, you got a berth up there, and then you could have a little child berth here. You need, whoop, uh, that didn't sound right. Um, here's our flat screen TV. And then we've got a spot over here for probably where the other older TV used to be. Um, we've got air conditioning controls. we got two air conditions in this vessel. And we've got a remote for one of them. See those nice uh, windows there? Give you plenty of light and tinted without having the UV damage. Um, and then overhead, I'm going to open up this panel here. We've got rod storage. So you could fit one, two, three, four, six, seven uh, fishing rods under there. See what that looks like. It's pretty cool. So, all right, let me put that back. All right, so we put that uh, rod storage thing back up there, and now we're getting ready to ascend the stairs into the living quarters. Um, I'm going to go on the other side of these and lift them up because we have more access down there to the air conditioners and stuff that you can look at. Um, all, right, so. all right, so we're back. And uh, we've got a, we got two heads in here. Well, two showers anyway. Um, well, maybe not. This is a head, separate head and shower, sorry. All right, so we got our head here. Turn the light on. There you go. There's a the head. You got your vanity and a medicine cabinet, mirrors, storage, all kinds of good stuff in there. And then directly across from it, we have our shower, um, uh, which has a bench and another sink. So you've got a separate shower and head. And that's really nice. All right, now uh, we're going to pull these stairs up and show you what's under that. Okay. Oh, they come right up. And we've got the light on down there. And uh, we've got an air conditioning unit over there. Uh, we've got our hot and cold water lines running through. We've got our battery charger. And there's the marine air systems. Looks like you got a new hot water heater. And then there's, uh, there's another air conditioner. And then uh, on the bottom there is a bilge under that, uh, that panel. Okay, so that's what that looks like. I'm gonna push it down now. All right, we'll pull it down now. There you go. And then uh, above that, as as you're going down into the stairs, you have your your stereo system. All right, and then the third door, door number three, is our main cabin berth. Uh, looks like about a queen size. It's really nice. We've got a TV in here. We've got hanging lockers. Nice uh, drawers, uh, wooden cabinet drawers. Keep all your st stuff in. And there's a big hanging locker on this side too. You fit all your clothing and whatnot. And there's your separate uh, AC controls there. You've got a nice big skylight hatch. Separate TV and stereo. Really nice vessel. We're gonna head out to the. Uh, we're gonna head out to the deck next. Take a look at the bow, front of the boat. But here's the salon. Again, nice layout, beautiful boat. All right, now we're gonna check out the bridge. Uh, as we come up the stairs, we've got storage compartments in the front here. Looks like we got an EPIRB, might go there. Speaker system. Got a nice big uh, forward facing bench. Seat three people. And then uh, we have our captain's chairs here. All this looks like new upholstery. 
Uh, very nice. We've got a Raymarine. I know I can get this thing off of here. There it is. We've got a Raymarine uh, C120, the 12 inch screen with GPS and radar capable. And then we've got our uh, autopilot, Raymarine ST8001. Um, on the other side, we've got a stereo unit and uh, we've got our Icon VHF there. Throttles and then we're full and reverse. And up here we've got a Furuno unit. Now let's see what our accessory switches. We've got blower, parallel start, uh, port engine start, starboard engine start. And on the other side we've got the horn, depth finder, autopilot, accessory, accessory lights, courtesy lights, nav lights. Alright, so really nice layout here, very comfortable seating. There's our engine hours, 8.84 and 8.80. And then we've got uh, multi-gauges here, VDO with uh, oil pressure, water temperature, volts and fuel on each engine. Uh, really nice. And you got some storage compartments under there. And forward, this is what the deck looks like. And up there, uh, got a windlass and a bow pulpit. So, great looking vessel. Priced well. All officers welcome.